What's up? It's girlfriend tapped in with Visionary Films, and we just got done doing a performance live from the kitchen. <laughs> Um, I think one of my biggest influences when it comes to music period is just like my dad. Like when I was growing up, he just was playing music 24-7. Like that's all he does. That's still all he does. Just like play music, like R&B, hip hop, reggae, 60s, 70s, 80s, like music period. Like he just always played it. Um, so yeah, like I'll say my dad is one of my biggest influences. Another super early influence I had growing up was probably Janet Jackson. I've always like really admired her as a performer. Like whenever, when I, when I was younger, we used to kind of watch like tapes of concerts. We would stick the, stick the tape in and we would just kind of watch her. Like my favorite concert from her was like the concert she did live in Hawaii. So definitely like my dad, Janet Jackson, and like really just like a lot of the people I heard growing up, like they influenced the way my music sounds, like whatever I heard, you know, I'm just like a reflection of that, so. like making this project man it was it was a ride to say the least um from the first time I started recording myself to the last song I ever recorded of myself like I've grown like tremendously so I feel like for one it just kind of showed me my potential like what I have what I have to learn what I have learned so for one, it was really like a growing process for me. It was a really big learning process. Also, it was really hard, you know, like it, it showed me, for me, it was more like a challenge. It was a really big accomplishment simply because I didn't have a lot of like the different resources and stuff, you know, that a lot of people have. Like I had my computer, I had FL Studio, and you know, I just did it. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. I did it. Um, collab with like a bunch of producers I met, you know, on Instagram and made a bunch of connections. But I did that like in the midst of like school, um, trying to like work and internships and all different types of things. So I think it just, looking back on it, it feels so good. I mean, it's really special to me. Like as far as the question about sentimental value, I feel like it's so special to me because I took my time with like every single one of these songs. Like there wasn't a song on this project that I probably didn't spend like five or six days on it perfecting it. And like that's in the midst of school and like everything that I have going on. So it's just like really knowing that I, looking back on it and knowing that I really put like everything, like my in complete all into this project, like I think it's, probably going to be my favorite project that, or my favorite thing that I've dropped for a long time. You
I want to show people that music isn't, is it, even though I feel like with the state of the industry right now, I want to show people that like true, true, truly putting your feeling or pouring your real emotions into art can still be a thing. I feel like influencer culture is just running rampant throughout the entire industry right now. I mean, sometimes it's not as much about the music, you know? And like, even like doing this, being an influencer and an artist goes hand in hand, but I feel like there's so many musicians out there, like even me who think like, oh, like I have to make this type of music or I have to do this type of thing to fit in. But you know, like I hope to reach enough people with this project to where I can prove different that sometimes it is about just making good music and like authentically sharing your art and like pouring your all into something like it doesn't always have to be what other people you know think that it should be so if there's any impact I would want to make I definitely just want to reach a lot of people I want to influence like a lot of people period and I just want you know, to show people that it's okay to be yourself. You know, you don't always have to, you know, follow in with the in crowd or whatever. Like, if you want to make music, like, make what you want to make and it'll, you know, it'll turn out how you want it to turn out. Niggas, they